Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take the background out of a logo or an image using Inkscape. Alright, so removing the background of an image using Inkscape is actually pretty easy. If you don't have Inkscape, I will have a link in the description below on where to get it. Um, it's completely free and it's actually really easy to use. Um, but first, we need to actually take the border from this uh, little page border that comes up as default. So we're going to go to File, Document Properties. It's going to bring up the Document Properties window down on the bottom under Border. Just uncheck the Show Page Border. Um, we're actually going to be taking the background out of the Inkscape logo. So let's go ahead and import that image in. We're going to click Import. We're going to go to Desktop and grab that Inkscape. Click OK. Okay, so now that we've got this image imported, we actually need to take the background out of this. Okay, um, of course, it's got a white background right now. And so if we actually import it in again, just to kind of show you, see, it's got that white background. It's not transparent. And so it's going to overlap. So, of course, we only need one. There's two ways of doing this. If um, you have a fairly simple image that you're trying to take the background out of, you've got, you know, three or four different colors that's not really highly detailed. Maybe it's a logo of some kind. Um, you can actually trace a bitmap, okay? So go ahead and highlight the image. We're gonna go up to Path and Trace Bitmap. It's gonna bring up the Trace Bitmap window. Um, we're gonna just go click the Live Preview. It'll give a live preview of it. We're gonna go uncheck the Smooth, check the Remove Background, and we're actually gonna, just because this is black and white, um, we can actually just check grays and we can actually just even go down to two because it's just black and white or if you want you can go to colors and keep it on two because there's only two colors in this um, and we're going to go ahead and hit OK and what it's going to do is it's going to add that bitmap that bitmap that we just traced right on top of um, the image that you imported. So we're going to make sure our selection tool is selected and we can drag and move that bitmap over. And so just to see the difference, if we actually hit control, hold control key and then scroll forward, you can zoom in and see how this edge gets really pixelated um, because you're just looking at a JPEG file. And so it's just an image. It's not scaling as you zoom in and zoom out. So if we, you know, zoom out really far, that image starts to distort. If we go over here to our vectorized image or our um, bitmap that we traced from that. You can actually zoom in and it will scale those edges for you. Okay, just a little um, little tidbit on, on vectorizing. So we don't actually need the original logo anymore that we imported. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. But now that we've got a um, the image that we used to, to get the bitmap from, we can actually go ahead and export that as a PNG, which is actually going to give us a transparent background. Make sure that the Im image is highlighted and we're actually going to go over to the export area or export PNG image. If you don't have this over on the right hand side default, you can actually go to um, file and export PNG image. It'll bring this window up somewhere within your screen. Okay, so we're actually going to make sure that selection is selected, okay, because we just want to export this selection. We don't want to export the entire page. Um, you can either do drawing, custom, or page, and there's different settings with each, within each one. And you can, of course, change the height and width depending on what units you select this in. We're just going to keep it as is because we is we have already traced a bitmap, and so it's going to be um, this size when we export. We're going to go ahead and hit export as. Um, we're actually going to just put this on the desktop. And we're just going to put in Inkscape. We're just going to put in Inkscape logo. I'm going to hit, hit Save. Now, you haven't exported it yet. You just saved where it's going to export when you do. So now that we've got that place that we want it to save to, we're going to come down here and click Export. And it will export that image. Of course, the more complicated your image is, the longer it's going to take to export. Inkscape does a fairly decent job in um, doing that for you. So it's not going to take too long. We're actually going to go ahead and delete this original bitmap that we use. We're going to just use this exact same um, canvas that we've been working on. We're going to come over here and we're just going to make a green box, you know, something that we can use as a background that we can see. Okay. So let's go ahead and import our PNG image that we did. So we're going to go ahead and import and our Inkscape logo here. And as you can see, it is a PNG file. We're going to click open. 
and there is no background. There is no longer a white background. And so that is probably the easiest way to remove a background from a fairly simple logo or a fairly simple image. Um, if it's a little bit more complicated than that, um, then I can go into detail and show you how to do that now. So let's go ahead and delete these. We're actually going to bring back in our um, original image so that that JPEG file that we had. So now that we've got this in, we can actually go and cut around the border of this manually. You're going to go over here to the um, draw brazier curves and straight lines. And you can actually, to use this tool, it, it does take a little bit of practice, but once you once you get the hang of it, it's, it's actually fairly simple. So what we're going to do is actually, um, there's a few different ways to do this, okay? You can actually just click around this border just a few times here and there and then end it and it'll and it'll draw a line and then you can go up here to the edit paths and you can actually click and move these lines to follow afterwards if you want okay we're actually not going to do that so we're going to go ahead and delete that that line we're going to go back to our uh, droppers here curves and we're actually going to go around this image manually Okay, so <clears throat> the more accurate you are, the better the result is going to become. Okay, so let's go ahead and put down our first node. We're actually going to start on this corner. And as you can see, you left click once, it'll bring up this image. Okay, the next node that you put down, if you left click and hold it, you can change the curve of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and left click and then hold that. And as you can see, that little red um, little red line will change depending on how you move that cursor as you're holding left click down. Um, like I said, it does take a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's really fairly simple. So we're going to go ahead and just match the curve of that and let go of left click. And as you can see, you still, ha you still have it selected. Now, if you right click, it will put down this line. Okay. We're actually going to change the, um, stroke of that. So the, the lime green, can, so we can kind of see it. Um, and by doing that, you just come down to here to this these color boxes, hold right click, and then go up and either set fill or set stroke. We just set the stroke there. So um, now that we've got this first line down, it's very, very important that you don't click outside of this. So if you click outside of this and create another one, you've actually just created a different um, Bezier curve and straight line, okay? It's a different object now. So when you go to use the function of taking the background out, it's not gonna work correctly because as you can see, there are two separate lines. And so go ahead and highlight the one. If you highlight the one that you have um, have been working on and go to select curves, select the node, and then go back to the draw tool, you can actually continue on that line. So it's it's not, the end of the world, there's just some extra steps that you do if you actually click out of that function. So let's go ahead and continue to um, draw the curves around this little image. And it doesn't have to be perfect right away because you can go back in before you um, remove the background and um, tweak it and make it as close to perfect as you can get it. Um, like I said, left click on the node, go ahead and pull it out left click again and drag or left and hold left click and then drag your cursor out and then right let go of left click and then right click and it'll put down that line so let's go ahead and trace around this entire thing and then once we get to that point we can um, go ahead and remove the background so now that we've got our border lined out okay um, you can come in and change some of these nodes that aren't, you know, perfect. You can go ahead and drag that line around. Make sure that your borders are a little bit more crisp and clean than they are here. Um, and once you've got all of that done, you've got your um, path set. We're going to go ahead and go to the selection tool. And we're going to go ahead and select the path we created and the image at the same time. We're going to go up to object, go down to clip, and then click set. And what that's going to do is it's going to delete or take away everything around the outside of that line or that path that you created. So if you move this around, we now have a transparent image or a transparent background. It's no longer there within Inkscape. 
First, you, of course, you need to export this as a PNG so you can get the transparent background. Just do it just like before what we talked about after the bitmap trace. Um, export as, you can save it to what location you want, um, what size you want, and then go ahead and hit that export button. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios. And if you guys want to see anything else in um, Inkscape, then please leave a comment down below, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.